Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here, and we have another Wirecast tutorial. This time we're going to talk about Titler Pro. This is a program that gets added to Wirecast. It's a, it's, it's not a free program. You got to pay for it, um, but it's part of the new Blue FX line, and you can get it over at uh, at newbluefx.com. There's a lot of different things you can get if you do uh, video outside of Wirecast. You can get things for uh, for your uh, uh, Premiere Pro, or uh, I use it for Sony um, and uh, Sony uh, Vegas, and you can uh, do fil filters, transitions. They also have the full Titler Pro. This is like it, it's the same Titler Pro. It's just uh, Wirecast. You have a special version which attaches within and goes from there. So basically, uh, you've probably been seeing the the titles that I've been doing. Um, as of late on Geekazine and uh, uh, Wearable Today and stuff like that. And it's all coming through Titler Pro. And it's really, really, really nice to be able to do some of these, uh, some of these things here. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, and, uh, and go from there. First of all, I'm going to move this puppy down here. Uh, and I'm going to bring that back up. We're going to blank shot both of these, bring this here. So we have a nice sunset, nothing, nothing fancy, something uh, I was playing around on the camera. I took a picture, just needed something for a background. So um, basically what this is, is an add-on that you get um, for Mac, for PC, and I'm on my Mac here, of course. And uh, basically what it does is you, what you do is you install the program, and it, it installs a program onto the computer, which just acts as a... Uh, as an interface, and that's pretty much it. It might pop up from time to time, but it also tells your computer, hey, you've got the, the Titler Pro on here, which you can do uh, different types of titles. Now, uh, to use the Titler Pro, very straightforward. You just go into your scenes here. We've, we pulled up a scene. I'm going to use it up here. But first of all, I'm going to create one. So I'm going to go over to Sources, and I can say, hey, new Titler Pro Live 2. And that's going to bring up this thing right here. It's just a, basically a straight up box. And as you can see, I've got uh, two other title sources here. I, I've got one with my uh, lower third right here. And then this one, another lower third. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to create another lower third. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Tyler Pro Live. And that's going to open up this little box right here. This window is the Tyler Pro. Um, and it gives you, gives you uh, quick start options. You can go right into the starter pack if you don't want to mess around with how this thing works. And you can choose a lower third. You can choose a title like this one right here, Enterprise Open. And once you choose that, you just double click on there. And that brings it into this uh, into this area where you can uh, preview it and you can see what, what's going on. You can also just uh, change different ones. Like I, I have the uh, the other two lower thirds in there. So if I decide, no, I don't want to use that, I can use one of these and then bring this. And then, of course, you can create uh, groups so you can, uh, so when you create shows inside of Wirecast, you'll be able to just go straight there and then put in. So for this, we'll just say um, Wirecast Tutorial and Jeffrey Powers. As you can see, that changes it and then, uh, to Wirecast Tutorial. You can uh, view it by hitting the preview in. And my computer's being a touch bit sluggish for some reason, but uh, I can preview out. It does add uh, all these animations and stuff like that. You've seen the animations, like, you know, when I do my lower third right here, that's an animation. And, uh, and it works pretty well on there, but uh, for some reason, I, 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 I'm not sure why it's... Why it's acting so funny here. But nonetheless, um, this is how it basically works. You can cre you can just take any title and bring it in and then add to it. Or you can design your own title, and that's actually pretty straightforward as well, especially if you've used uh, some of these other programs to make things such as titles uh, and overlays and stuff like that. So basically what we'll do, and we'll, uh, we'll full screen this puppy here. So what this is, you have your preview screen right here. You have your um, object properties up here, and then you have your timeline down here. Now, taking this uh, one we just did, or we just uh, brought in 
this brings open that and as you can see that's what happens you have this start you have this middle and you have this end so basically what happens is when you click on your scene it'll go to the start and it'll hit at the middle and it'll stay at the middle until you click off of the scene and then it'll go to the end you can remove these and just have it go through uh through the uh, time standard so we can say delete the elastic region and it's just basic start or we can say add region and we've got markers we can we can put them in and go from there. I just I don't I don't mess with it too much. I want it to uh, come in and come out. I uh, but if you want to be more controlled with that, then that is what you do. So basically, what I've done is I've gotten rid of the elastic part. So it's just going to go straight up, open it up, Wirecast tutorial, uh, hold, and then close it. Simple as that. And it'll just keep going back and forth like that. Now, as you can see. Um, if you've done any type of editing in similar editors, you'll you'll know that what you have are uh, different layers. And in these layers, they do different things. Like this first layer is this main gray rectangle. If I clear it out, you can see that the second rectangle is the orange. And then, of course, we have the text. And we can just get rid of all that. We can add our own stuff right here. So let's just blank this all out. And we can add a shape, we can add a paragraph. We can go, let's go ellipse. And now we've we've created a new layer in there called ellipse. And as you can see, I just put it right here. I'll, I'm, I'll move it over. And if I brought the other stuff back, you'd, you'd see those layers as well. You can delete those if you want, but I can come in here and I can resize the ellipse. If I choose this one, right, this option right here, then what happens is that turns the ellipse. Um, if I turn that off, I go, whoops, and I go right here, that also will turn it. But this one will also turn it in a in many different ways. As you can see, I'm flipping around, kind of coin, making it kind of look like a coin here. So I could have it add an angle like that and go from there. And then I have some other options, uh, like for instance, I can change the style, I can put an image in here, um, I could put a gradient in here, let's put a gradient in. Um, and as you can see, we've just uh, did a black on white gradient, so and we can change that around if we want to. We can go, okay, that's orange, and this one will be green. And we'll say okay. As you can see, we've just changed the gradient colors. Pretty straightforward there. We can also do an extrusion to make it look more 3D. And all of these uh, you, you you can create in the timeline. You can create this thing to pop out, go back in, and all these other stuff. So, like for instance, at the beginning here, I can say, let's start here. And we'll go back over to object, and we'll say, okay, let's. Uh, where are we? Um, I think we've got to, we basically have to, where are you? X transitions. So we'll go to object and we'll say, uh, this is, there we go, turn on keyframing. And as you can see, we've got a keyframe one and that's this little dot right here, which I will uh, move in a little bit. There's our first point of the keyframe. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit and then I'll add a second keyframe. In this second keyframe, I will take the extrusion and make, make it go longer. And then I'll come out, I'll hold that like that. Maybe uh, copy this keyframe by simply uh, control, copy keyframe, come down here and say, oops, say paste keyframe and that'll hold it. And then we'll bring it over here and then we'll create one more keyframe. We don't have to uh, hit a new keyframe at this point. We could just go into the style and we could go to extrude and that should make the new keyframe point. Maybe it doesn't, interesting. So, um, but, but I can also, I'll also do the object. I can, uh, if I do a rotation or something like that, as you can see, it just added the keyframe. So now if I go back and forth here, I thought it did the extrusion as well. Interesting. Well, I learned something myself. So, so basically I have this here and I could start it. I could go back to this right here and 
I can take the size down to almost nothing and the opacity down to nothing as well. So now what it'll do is it will zoom in and it will fade in. It'll hold there and then it'll turn out. And I can even go back to this one, this keyframe right here. And I can fade it back out. So basically, I, and, and in here I could have like text, I could have a picture or something like that, and, and, and go in and go out. So that's, that's the basic uh, idea of creating your own title to that, and which I've done. I've, I've taken some titles and I've made them, uh, adjusted them a little bit. Like for instance, my lower third is an actual title um, from the library. I just changed the color to orange. And some of the other titles that I do from mine. Now I can apply to the template. I can discard the changes. Uh, I can apply to template and then call this template test one. So now I have test one in here. And if I preview in, there it is. And it'll preview out. And then I can use that and I can just close that out. So now this one believe we're good to go so now I can just go to here and go to title or source three shot and then bring it in and basically does that <laughs> now I can also do uh, one of the other titlers to make it you know look a little bit better so I'll do the first titler uh, which I already set up and there I have a simple lower third on my video which once I click off of that, it'll disappear. So you see how that works? If I click on the scene, the lower third shows up. When I click off of that scene, the lower third goes away. And I can actually set that up so it doesn't have that hold and release uh, point. It just does it and then gets out of the way or, you know, just like this. Hey, there's a circle, now it's gone. <laughs> so uh, different ways to do that. And basically, that's how that works. You, you can either start by going to New Titler Pro Live 2, or you just go to the source settings, and then you'll see a Titler Pro Live. If you don't have it there, you just hit the plus button, and it'll say Add Titler Pro Live 2. You do that, and a new Titler source will come in. You can choose from list. Um, you can also uh, you can also purchase some of these uh, some of these items. Uh, over at the new blue FX. So if you want to, uh, if you want to go through their uh, lower thirds, their templates and stuff like that, you can then add that into your uh, into your list. There they've got like this. Uh, let's take a look at the on air collection. We'll look at Betoken Red, and it'll just give me a, give us an idea of what that is. It's the simple video here, but uh, the, the whole point is that. You then buy this. In this case, it's 50, an extra $59. And, of course, it doesn't want to load it up for me. So <laughs> we'll go to something else. We'll go to Borealis. Let's see if that, it loads that up for us. So we'll go to Borealis here. There we go. And as you can see, they have some firemen. They got this nice little lower third to show you how that works. And close it out. So you can add more. And then, of course, there are some uh, communities out there that do help you with uh, creating your own text and stuff like that, um, which is pretty cool because then you can uh, you can create some really cool lower thirds. You can create some like, for instance, one thing I created on uh, on my wearable today show and my Geekazine show um, is the socials. This one right here. So basically, now, you know, my YouTube channel, my Facebook channel, my Twitter channel, simply through this. And the other thing you can do is you can actually take uh, multiple titlers and put them together. So you have like an intro, like for my intro to wearabletoday.com, um, I have that all set up as one title um, where I can bring cards in, take cards out. So, you know, if, if a sponsor changes or something like that, I can easily go into the intro and change that and go from there. And like I said, it's all simply straight through the sources. Um, you don't ha you definitely want to, if you're if you're maxing out your resources on your your machine, um, adding the titler will probably not be the best thing. So you want to make sure that you have a little bit more resource than what you ha normally uh, use. So if you're running an i uh, i7 or you know high end AMD processor, you should be fine. I, I've got the 
8350 FX on the desktop and then this is the uh, macbook pro i i7 it's a 2011 model and it runs it just fine um if i record in 720p if i try in 1080p uh, it causes you know uh, it gets up to the cpu cycles get up there so so basically that's it that's uh the add-on from new blue fx it is the titler pro and i'm sh show you how to get it and of course you can get that and you can get everything by going over to uh, Wirecast and get yourself Wirecast over at j.mp forward slash Wirecast 6. That is my affiliate code, and I'd appreciate it much uh, if you uh, if you went there um, and to make your purchase, of course, if you don't have Wirecast. But if you do have Wirecast and these tutorials are helping you out, please let me know. You can also tip me over at paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers, paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers, of course. You can find me over at geekazine.com. And this was another tutorial for Wirecast on using Tidler Pro. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out and we'll see you next time.